What's the difference between a dozen and a baker's dozen? What are these words that mean numbers and how do we use them in word problems? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro, we are going to talk about words that mean numbers. Now, why does it matter? Because when you're in the exam, in uh, most exams, they use these words in words. And if you're not exposed to them, in the problem-solving questions, Papa stop ka talaga kasi hindi mo alam kung ibig sabihin nitong mga salita na ito. So I'll give you a list of these and I'm going to use them then dun sa mga klase ng questions that you can expect sa inyong aptitude exam whether that be civil service exam, college entrance test, napul ko man yan or anything like that. These are the things that you could probably encounter dun sa mga ganong klaseng tests. And if you want more information about the stuff that I do, for free, and of course, yung attending mga reviewers to so the online or library events, you can message me directly sa Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. Now, in order for me to explain this concept better, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so ito yung ating lecture sa words for numbers. Again, the concept is there are certain words that mean numbers, pero hindi yung direct na written equivalent nila. So, when you spell T-E-N, tas yun yung 10, hindi yun na pinag-uusapan natin ngayon. These are special cases, kumbaga. Now, I have a table right here. So, isa-isahin natin. Una, yung word, and then yung kanyang equivalent na number or yung kanyang ibig sabihin. Okay? Let's start off with something small. I feel you already know this, pero i-clarify lang natin ng maigi. We have words like brace, pair, and couple. And ang equivalent number niya is 2. So, when we talk about a brace or a pair or a couple, it's two. Now, special case lang ang couple when it comes to the English language. When you say a couple of things, it doesn't necessarily mean two. It may be two and a little more. So, for example, kung tatlo or apat, pwede mo pa rin tawagin couple yun. Lalo na kung uh, yung category na yun ay maraming members. So, for example, I have a couple of Funko Pops in my collection. Kahit na hindi naman necessarily dalawa lang. Okay? Pero pag sinabi ko na ngayong pair, talagang dalawa lang talaga yun. Pag sabi kong brace, dalawa lang talaga yun. Pero artistically, ang couple can mean more than two against sa language. Pero sa math, a couple would be two. Okay? Yun na yung minsan yung iba na guguluhan dun. Pero just, just, uh, just know kung ano yung difference ng paggamit. Okay? Next is the word trio. Of course, ang trio is three. Okay? Minsan triad. Pag sabi triad, then three. So kapag may prefix tayo na try, it's three. Alam nyo na yan, pag quad, probably four. So, yung quartet then, pag sabi, a quartet, that is four. Kasi, quart, quarter, four. Kaya nga minsan, uh, kung kaya, di ba, naglalaro kayo ng basketball, kung four quarters ang nilalaro ninyo, quarter ang tawag doon. Pero kung dalawang, uh, dalawang bahagi lang, Okay, ibig sabihin ko, dalawang 10 minute lang na round, tapos nagpapalit na kayo ng court sa gitna, hindi na quarter ang tawag doon, half na, kasi dalawa lang naman yung hati. Okay, so yun lang yung importante doon. Now, next, you have dozen. Ito, I think a lot of people already know. A dozen is docena, doce, which means 12. Now, what people don't usually know, hindi sila masyadong familiar with, lalo na sa Filipino context, is what they call a baker's dozen. Pag baker's dozen na, hindi na siya dozen lang. Siya ay actually 13. Ang kwento doon would be, kasi diba, pag bumili ka na isang dozen sa baker, usually may libreng isa. Sometimes para, parang in good faith nilang binibigay yon. So pag sabi baker's dozen, it's actually 13. And that's where a lot of confusion comes from. Kaya make sure that you know that ang baker's dozen ay 13. Next is yung gross. Now, ang gross, no, hindi ito usapang sweldo or kita or anything like that, ha? Ang gross in numerical value is actually 144. Yung 144 na yan is made up of 12 dozens. So, a dozen of dozens. So, para siyang 12 times 12. Dal parang isang dosena ang dosena. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng gross. Okay? Now, Ano naman ang great gross? Ang great gross naman is actually more than that pa. Parang yung gross, isang dosena pa uli nun. 
So we have 1,728 as great gross. Okay? Next is grand or large. Wag sabi, uh, 10 grand or 10 large. This is a little bit uh, on the side na ng slang words. Yan ang equivalent niyan is 1,000. Okay? Kumbaga sa, uh, yun ginagamit ni Yorme Isko, no? Bulig, di ba? Isang bulig, tatlong bulig, ang bulig is 1,000. Yun yung grand or large. Okay? So, if you encounter this in your math questions, you know. Next is a myriad. Pag sabi, a myriad of, um, in, ma in math, it is actually equivalent to 10,000. So, pag sabi, a myriad of mushrooms or something like that. It's actually literally 10,000 mushrooms. Pero sa literature, sa English, pag sabi yung myriad, pwede na siya basta anything na marami. Yun ang ibig sabihin niya ngayon. Pero technically, kung babalikan mo yung equivalent numbers, that should be 10,000. Next is a word na you probably are very familiar with yung katunog niya, which is Google. Pero ang Google kasi, is different from Google, yung tinatayipan ninyo pag naghahanap kayo ng information, okay? And you may add it ng YouTube. Ang Google is actually 10 raised to 100. Okay? Yan yung kanyang equivalent. So, it's a really, really, really big number. Yun ibig sabihin ng Google. Now, if you're familiar with these, you won't have that much of a problem solving questions like this. Sabi dito, Daisy baked a gross of donuts. If she had to sell them in baker's dozens, how many boxes can she sell? So, subukan natin ito isolve together, and then, dun sa huli, we'll have a quick quiz, okay? Sabi dito, meron daw siyang a gross of donuts. Ilan muna ba yung gross? Dito po papasok yung problema kung hindi kayo familiar with the wordings, okay? Kasi ang gross is, sabi natin, 144. So, kung isosolve natin siya, kung meron siyang a gross of donuts, ibig sabihin that is 1 times yung gross, which is 144. Again, this is 12 times 12. And then, kailangan mo daw siya ibenta in baker's dozens. Ibig sabihin, bawat isang kahon na ibibenta ni Daisy, ang laman dapat ay 13. So, anong gagawin mo? Ang gagawin natin ngayon would be 144 divided by 13. So, this will be 1, 13. And if you haven't seen yung aking recent video on dividing numbers, you can click na lang din sa taas ha. Hindi ko na i-discuss yung nuances nito. This will be 14 minus 13, 1. Bababa natin yung 4. 14 divided by 13 is still 1. Tapos, 13. Meron kang remainder 1. So, anong gagawin natin dyan? Ang tatanong, ilang boxes daw ang kaya niyang ibenta? So, ang maibibenta niya lang ay 11 boxes. Kasi 11 boxes lang yung puno. So, the answer here is 11 boxes. Okay? So, yan yung sagot. So, again, very important for you to know kung ano yung tawag sa mga bagay-bagay para hindi kayo magulat pagdating sa exam. So, it's time for your quick quiz. This is actually a very straightforward lesson. You just need to be familiar with the terms. And ang ating uh, quick quiz is basically you going. You are going to convert uh, yung mga uh, units na binigay ko sa inyo into yung tamang sagot. Okay? And if you haven't seen yung aking series on converting units, ilalink ko na lang din sa taas para doon sabi lang magugulat doon sa ano yung ginagawa ko doon. Okay? Uh, we already talked about that in depth. We talked about converting money, uh, weight, length, all of these things. Pati temperature, nandun na rin. So, kung hindi nyo panapapalad, panoorin nyo muna yun. Okay? Now, if you're ready naman na, and you've seen all those videos, uh, you can grab your pen and paper, and your timer starts now.
Alright, let's see how you did. So let's start with this, yung number one natin. Two myriads daw ay ilang grand ba? Now, sabi natin ang bawat isang myriad is actually 10,000. So ang dalawang myriad is two times 10,000. That is 20,000 pieces. Now, ang grand naman, sabi natin, ang bawat isang grand ay 1,000. So, kung ang myriad ay convert ko into grand, ang gagawin ko lang is i-divide ko ito sa 1,000. Okay, so we have 2 right here. This will be 2,000. Tapos, wala na siya. So, 0. Ibababa ko lang siya. So, the answer is 20 grand. Okay? Actually, hindi nyo na nga kailangan gawin to kung familiar naman kayo with your numbers. Kasi, 10,000 to times 2, 20, 20 grand. And that is what we're going to do for the next questions. I'll show you how I personally solve it. But you can also go through yung pinaka-traditional method. Okay? Next is one gross daw. Ilan daw trios yun? So, ang gross again is 144. Tapos, ang trios naman natin, equivalent niya ay 3. So, isang gross ay 144. All we have to do is to divide this by 3. You can do it like this. Or, what I do is this. Sabi kasi, di ba? Ang gross daw ay 12. 12s. Now, ang isang 12 ay actually apat na 3. So, all I have to look at would be, kung ang isang ordinaryong 12 ay may apat na tatlo, i-multiply ko lang yung 4 dito. This will be 48 at yun dapat ang lalabas na sagot. Now, tingnan natin kung tama yung aking ano dun, ha, observation dun in yung aking technique. Kung di-divide natin to, this will be 4. This will be 12. Minus natin yan, this is 2. Bababa natin yung 4. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So actually, pareho lang din sila. So the answer is 48 trios. I just prefer to do it like this kasi that I can do mentally. Now, kung hindi kaya ito, okay lang. You can go the long cut. Pareho naman ang lalabas na sagot. Next is number 3. Ito dalawa nang nawawala. Ang great gross ay 1,728. So, 1,728 siya. We're talking about pairs. That is, ang pairs ay tigda dalawa. So, i-divide ko lang siya sa 2. This will give me 8, 6, 4. So, 864 pairs siya. Yung dozens naman, ilan? Okay? Now, what you could do would be, you can either divide 1,728. I-divide mo siya sa 12. You can also do that. Or, if you think about it, kasi ang bawat pares... Okay. Um, merong anim na pares sa isang dosena. So, you can actually use this. And then, yun na lang ang i-divide mo ngayon sa 6. Tignan natin kung tama yung sagot ng pareho, ha? Okay? So, 8, 6, 4 muna divided by 6. This is 1. 6. Ma-minus ko yan. 26. So, 6, 12, 18, 24. This is 4. 24. 2, 4, Four. So, the answer, kung dito ako dadaan, is 144. Ang tanong, 144 din ba dito? Tingnan natin. 17 divided by 12, that is 1. 12, bawas natin doon. We have 5, 2. Ilang 12 meron sa 52? Okay. So, kasha naman ang, hindi, uh, hindi kasha ang 5, pero kasha naman ang 4. So, that's, that would be 48. Mamayos natin siya dyan. So, we have 4, 8, and then you have 4. If you see it right here, that is 144 pareho. So again, pwede kang dumaan dito, pwede kang dumaan doon. Ang importante, sagot pa rin is 144. Okay? And if you listen din doon sa explanation kanina, di ba ang sabi natin, ang, uh, ang isang gross ay equivalent sa a dozen dozens, right? So, ang great gross is a dozen of a dozen dozen. So, actually, you can also solve this using 12 times 12, which is 144. So, again, kahit saan pa kayo dumaan dyan, ang importante, ang tamang sagot is 144 dito, 864 dito. And hopefully, tama yung sagot ninyo. Okay? Now, if hindi kayo tama or if you want more practice, I'll be posting more questions on this topic sa aking Instagram account. So, follow me at Laika Maravilla on Instagram for more of those. Abangan nyo lang yung aking mga Instagram story. Meron doon mga quick quiz and you can also look for the hashtag na quick question on Instagram. 
to find yung mga yon and you can practice using those. You will find out right away kung tama kayo or mali. And hopefully, pag nag-check ako, makikita yung pangalan ninyo doon sa mga taong tama ang sagot. Alright, I hope you're going to today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo na kung mag-exam din sila. That way, yes, marami tayong matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get reviewers, join the online or library events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika or message me at m.me slash teamlaika for details on how you can avail all of these things. Alright? Thanks, guys. And again, subscribe if you haven't yet. So, and hit that bell para hindi nyo mamiss yung mga paparating pa lang. Marami pa tayong mga videos sa paparating. And hopefully, mapanood nyo sila para pag kayo na exam, ready na kayo at hindi na kayo matatakot dahil alam nyo na lahat ng posibleng lumabas sa test. Thanks, guys. And as we always say dito sa team, never stop learning. Adja, adja. Kain yan. I'll see you in my next video. And bye for now.